Hi, I'm Rose and I'm going to build a PC. You will need some RAM, a video card, a CPU, a heatsink, a motherboard, a hard drive or two, and a case. I'm going to start working on the motherboard before I put it in the case because it's easier. This is where the CPU goes. Your motherboard may have a different contraption, but I'm sure you'll be able to figure it out, or if not, the manual will give you a helping hand. Just over like that. And this has a protecting pins plastic piece that will come off. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you can discard of that, but maybe not completely, just in case something fucks up. The CPU has these rivets in the side, and you can see them on the side of here too, and also has a little arrow down here. Again, if you're confused, just check the manual because that will tell you what's going on. And you can just completely relax because it's got a sweet fucking bed. And that goes down like that, and it's secure. The CPU needs to be kept cool with a heatsink. I'm using the stock heatsink for now, which is the one that will come with your CPU. Make sure before you put it in that you're putting it in at a place that the plug can easily reach its socket. And this one already has thermal paste pre-applied, so you just need to line up with the holes, and your locking mechanisms may be different, but check out the manual if it's confusing, and that'll tell you what the fuck. So, let's do it. Hope I'm not getting in your way with my fat head. It's quite possible. And... Ba, 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 ba. Okay, and then you just press it in diagonally. And then just, you twist them. Next, I'm going to put the RAM in. This is where the RAM goes. I'm going to put it on the further side because I'm going to get a bigger heatsink and I don't want it getting in the way. So you just open these up and then the RAM drops in. And you can tell which way it goes because it has this gap here and there's a gap there. So it should slide in perfectly. There we go. Isn't that lovely? Ugh. You have to shove it a bit, which that polystyrene isn't a fond of. And second piece, again, it's the same way. And when you shove it in properly, these will clip back into place like they have done there. Alright, I'm going to move on to the case now, in preparation. I've put down the motherboard standoffs in the place. Again, your manual is going to tell you how to do this. If it's a uh, micro ATX, it's going to be a bit different than if it's just regular ATX. And I'm going to put in my PSG, which is entirely constructed of three-year-old dust, as now am I. Okay, so the PSU is going in down here. Might be different on your case. You probably can't see any of this, but that's alright. You just have to screw the screws in. In order to be able to slot into my case, the hard disk drive needs to be encased in these bad boys. And the other side. And then the hard drive should just slot in somewhere. Yes. Dust. So in order to put my DVD drive in the case, Apparently, I just pull the front off, so let's see. Alright. Okay, there we go. That's completely going to differ depending on what your case is. But I did it, and then that's the main thing. So now the DVD drive should just slide magically in. Like that. <laughs> Yes. I'm going to put the motherboard in now because it seems as good a time as any and I'm going to have to put it, make sure the holes go onto the standoffs and here we go. Right. Mustn't forget this part. 
which goes flush against the edge here and shows you where everything is. Alright, I've cut the faceplate on and now I can make sure that the each of the holes rest over a standoff which can then be screwed. You're going to have loads of screws with your case so don't worry about having a screw loose or just you know a screw not existing because it will exist regardless of whether or not you need it. Next up, graphics card. Graphics card is going to go into this slot and is going to need to get two spaces in the side panel. And apparently, to do that, I have to push these things down that you probably can't see. <laughs> I'm trying. Alright, like that. And slide that up. Awesome. And the graphics card should just slot in. And it's in, and just needs to be screwed on the sides to keep it in place. The next step is wires. There are lots of wires involved in a PC. Wires from like the front where you might have a USB port or whatever at the front that need to go somewhere on the motherboard that's labelled. Uh, wires making sure that the PSU is powering everything in here, essentially. So that's what I'll do next. Most wires are labelled, some will only go in one place. This bit is kind of the most Lego part of the entire operation, although it's all fairly Lego, so enjoy. And it's finished. Isn't it glorious? So that's how you build a PC. You might be able to hear mine quietly humming in the background. The minute that you press the power button and it actually turns on and everything works is like magic. It's literal magic. There's no other way to describe it. <laughs> Electronics and shit, yeah whatever, magic. Magic. So if you want to save money, witness magic and feel like a fucking god, then you should build your own PC. I wish you good luck, only in PC related endeavours, not in anything else, and good night.